You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So, uh, we spoke on Monday about Antonio Brown. Uh, he had the scene on Sunday where he uh, took his helmet, showed the pads off, tossed it, left the field in the middle of the game, and a lot of discussion was happening surrounding that. Yes. Um, a lot of what the story was, he didn't want to go back in, or they were trying to force him, or they weren't trying to play him, but apparently the, the story is that he was hurt uh, because he responded. There's some um, prefaces as well. He actually responded. He said he was hurt. He had you know, a broken ankle or something like that. They drugged him up. And then he said he played and then felt like he couldn't go back in without hurting the team, without hurting himself. And then he decided not to go back in. The coach blacked out on him, said, you're done. He said, you're done. And then that's when he, he was like, they cut me. And then, you know, that's when he lost it and left, this, left the field. Gotcha. Now, I don't think that changes how I felt on Monday. Okay. How I felt on Monday is I get you're upset, but I just didn't think it was a good look. Gotcha. You are already seen as the problem child on the team. Right. Leaving the field yeah. like that. In that manner. In that manner, it just doesn't look right. And I'm going to tell you what I think happened. I'll be honest with you as well. I don't think he got cut on the, on the field, on the, on the sideline like that. I think, mind you, um, the coach, Aaron, he, he didn't want him on the team anyway. To, to begin with. To begin with, right? Last year, they, uh, he, he lays low. They win the Super Bowl. I can't do nothing to you now. Correct. I, I just can't. Right? right? We saw the same thing with Tom Coughlin and the Giants. They wanted to fire him mad times. He just kept winning the Super Bowl yeah. every time they were about to fire him, right? Yes. So I can't do nothing to you. But this year, I'm seeing drama now. The, the vaccine thing, the, uh, the chef suing you, all of the stuff. You're getting suspended. Now you're hurt. Now we're playing the Jets and we're losing. Jets are a terrible team and we're losing. Right. Coach is frustrated. Everybody's frustrated. I tell you to go back on the field. You say you can't. Now I already don't like you. I say, you know what, you're done. Right? That's an, I, that could be taken many different ways. If you play sports, your coach has said some foul shit to you on the sideline. Yes. In the heat of the moment. Okay? <clears throat> Absolutely. So The shit that they say to each other on the sideline is, is bonkers. It's crazy, right? So him, he could have played it cool and then afterwards did what he had to do when the game was over. Don't play, but if they cut you in, now you have more leverage to come back to the media and say, he just cut me. I don't know what that was about. But you throwing your stuff off and leaving like that, you, you cut your legs up from under you, right? Mm -hmm. And now the coach can spin the story however he wants to spin it. That's just how I, I, I think it went down. But... From the comments, I, I was you know I was reading the comments. I, I really do that now nowadays, right? But I'm mm -hmm. reading the comments now. But it seems like no matter what black people do, somebody has to defend it as right. That was not right. And 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 that's what I want to talk about. Continue. No, you, you go ahead. Okay. Um, what I'm noticing is, like Malcolm just said, because the first, it, it was people in the comment section saying, "See, see, he had a right to do." No, you never have a right to act like a nigga. Let's, let's keep it a bean, all right? In the face of white America, and they paying you, in my humble opinion, unless you all in or all out. So I asked people the question. I said, what happened in Pittsburgh? Silence. I said, what happened in Las Vegas? They gave him 30 million. He didn't even make it through training camp. Mm -hmm. Silence. What happened when he got to New England? Silence. So we see a trend and a pattern. If wherever you go, or if you're in five relationships and they all end up the same, at some point you have to look at yourself. Even if he was technically right in this situation, which I really don't know, because he got out in front and started putting out emails or text, or, messages. You know, text messages to get out in front of the story. Fine. I'm cool with that. Black people, we're we, we going to have to make decisions coming forward. We're either going to have to deal with uncomfortable truths or just stay with the comfortable uh, falsehood that we've created and narrative around these players. And what I'm noticing is we get to live vicariously through his experience. It creates a level of dopamine for about 30 seconds. That's right. Fuck them devils. Fuck that. Buck the system. Meanwhile, you're sitting there flipping your burgers and you ain't bucked the system on your job. So what I'm noticing is, and this is my humble opinion, we've been so traumatized by white supremacy that when we see somebody take any kind of 
stand, no matter what kind of stand it is, we get an adrenaline rush because we tie it into our own traumatic experiences. So we have a sympathy mm -hmm. for people no matter what they did. I've seen dudes in the hood with a criminal record, 15 pages long, done shot four and five people, terrorized the neighborhood, get into a shootout with the police. It didn't go down the way we thought it was. And now we're out marching. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and, and simply because the police did it. But when we are shooting each other, there is. when was the last time you seen a protest of black people killing each other and we're like, this got to stop? No. But the minute a, a authoritarian figure, a so-called authoritarian figure is involved in the equation, we automatically want to take the side of the black person no matter what they've done. And that's cool to make you feel good. But truth is truth all day, every single day. Yeah. So my point is, then there are those who want to capitalize off your traumatic experience. So they will put a bunch of tweets out or gather up because they know you already enraged and their whole platform is based on trauma and feeding you trauma to get you involved in some bullshit. I, I, I'm, I'm done with it. We have to be able to look truth in its face and say either this nigga was right or this nigga was wrong. And whichever side, before the chat get all round up, whichever side you on, I'm going to respect that. If you felt that everything he did in Pittsburgh, Las Vegas, uh, New England was correct or has nothing to do with this, has nothing to do with his reputation, has nothing to do with perhaps there's something wrong with this nigga. Nothing to do with that. He was on a broken ankle. He was gonna willing to forfeit his his uh, uh, his million dollar bonus because his ankle was hurting, and he told the coach he didn't want to hurt the team. And all of a sudden, this nigga's a a model citizen. If that's what you believe, then I want you to ride with that. But I'm telling you, I don't see it that way. I see even if he was right in the situation, how he conducted it, well, what we're going through is more important. And there's no victory in this for us because he was, was yay, yaying to a crowd with no shirt on looking crazy because I told you the optics. It ain't about the truth a lot, especially in social media. Y'all should already know it's not about truth. It's about the perception of truth or how we can flip images to give off the illusion that you niggas ain't got it together. We paying this nigga $30 million or whatever, and he still can't come to practice, come to play. And if the coach don't like you, I'm just going to keep it a bean. Tom Brady fought for him, brought him into his house. All this kind of stuff because Tom Brady want to win football games. Mm -hmm. We know he's talented. Yeah. If the coach don't like you, then there's a reason. And the coach wants to win too. His reputation mm -hmm. is on the line. That's why they put up with T.O. And, and Chad Oco Ochocinco and all of these Randy Moss, these wide receivers with these diva attitudes. Because if I can just associate it to stuff on the field that you want to win mm -hmm. and you arguing with the quarterback, fine. But there are certain lines we shouldn't cross because it does represent all of us when you do it that way. When you do it the other way, this is what it is. Okay. And <clears throat> I like if I do think, and this is this is, I think <clears throat> this is not even to the main point. If the coach did know he was hurt and did try to make him go, I, I get feeling like these people don't care about me. I get, yeah. I totally get that. Because they don't. They just want right, to win. Of course. They don't give a shit about and him. And you are just like, you know, But the fodder. reason they pay you $30 million is don't give a shit if your boss, you flipping burgers. You think they care about you flipping burgers that, that. at your job? No. Come in and do your job. Stop making this everything personal. I don't like, I've had many white bosses. I know they don't like me. I don't like them. But we need each other at the moment. Mm -hmm. I got another game plan going on, but at the moment, I'm going to show up and do my job. At the moment, you're going to show up and you're going to pay me, and then we're going to go home. If we win a championship, it's awkward. We will hug each other. Yeah, <laughs> yeah basically. We won. Yay. But when we start losing, right, and yeah. if everywhere you go, you're the victim, 
If everywhere you go, you're the victim, you just got to look at yourself. That's all I'm saying. That's if it. this was an isolated incident and this had never happened before, I would totally give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he lost how to do it. Everywhere he go, everywhere he go yeah. it's a problem. So don't at me with that one. Peace, if you like what you just saw and would love to see more of the uncut, unscripted, unadulted, spontaneous, off the rip information for me and brother Malcolm, you need to become a member. Hit that link below because we're going to be going in on the after show. And we have more exclusive content as well. So don't forget to hit that link. Peace. Peace.